Well, I wanted to, to give you some U.S. stuff while we're celebrating the 4th. Perfect. Um, all right, David, I got five USA trivia questions for you. <sighs> okay. All right. First one being, what was the first American state? Delaware. Delaware is the correct answer there. What was the name of the first permanent English, in parentheses, American colony? Which I think Central Middle, we went on a field trip there. It may have been when I was still in Westminster, but I definitely went on a field trip to this place. So it's close to Maryland. Okay. Is it a state's name? No, it's the town in, it's in Virginia. Yeah. Oh, man. And the name town is Charleston. In, no. You're close. That's West Virginia, huh? You're close. That is West Virginia. Is it, is it Arlington? No. It has town at the end of it. Someone's first name and then town. Oh, fuck. Named after the king of England at the time. Charlestown. No. <laughs> 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 you weren't that close. <laughs> it's my middle name. Uh, Jamestown. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I don't remember ever going there. You never went there and they're all, you know, they have all the reenactors all dressed up and they have all the, you know, all that good stuff going no. on. No. I, I might have still so. been living up in Westminster at the time. Um, okay. Hmm. Well, what is the oldest European founded city in the United States? Man, I just looked this up like three weeks ago. Well, we're living in the state it's in. Uh, the oldest European founded mm -hmm. is Pensacola. It is not. It's not St. Augustine. It is. No, that's the that's the the oldest continuously inhabited city. Fact check me. Mm, Pen okay. Pensacola okay. is the oldest. So I got 1565 for St. Augustine. By Don yeah. Pedro Merendez de Avilis of Spain. What year was that? 1565. Right, let me ask you if you ever heard of this guy here. Tristan de Luna. You ever heard of him? No, I have not. Hmm. Well, he settled onto what is Pensacola now Pensacola in 1559. Oh, so that is an inaccurate statement by me then. So Pensacola. This makes Pensacola the site of the first multi-year European colonial settlement settlement ever ar archaeologically identified in the United States. Well, whatever site I, I got this from, I thought we've had no, no. You're you're right, and that's I love having this this debate with people because it's t while technically true that Saint Augustine is the oldest because it's the longest. I guess to define a city, it has to have I got residents. You. I got gotcha. you. So, but. It's technically not the oldest. I know it sense. is the oldest, um, and I still haven't gone. I really want to. The oldest fort in the United States is in St. Augustine. Yeah. I really want to go because it looks awesome right on the water there. Um, so, yeah, your, your site's correct, but most people don't know that Pensacola was, in fact, discovered first. That's pretty cool, actually. But both in Fun Florida. Fact. How about that? And both in Florida. Um, what was the first European? I'm sorry, who? Who was the first European to land in North America? And I want to say there's a Nickelodeon show that should give you the answer to this. How old is this Nickelodeon show? I think it's from Nickelodeon that they said it. I got to check. Oh, um, I think it's SpongeBob. Hmm. It is. Yeah, it's SpongeBob. I must have missed that while he was out murdering people. Well, in the episode, SpongeBob has a red beard and a Viking oh, is helmet it, uh... on. Is it fucking Leif Erikson? It is Leif Erikson um, in the 10th century, which means in the year 900 and 999, he came here. Hinga dinga Durgan. Durgan. <laughs> and final question. Um, when did Christopher Columbus land in what would later become the United States? 1472. The number you're looking for is 1492. But from what I have, I don't know if I trust this website anymore, is he didn't. Most historians agree he landed in parts of Central and South America, as well as some Caribbean islands. When? When what? 1492. That's when he sailed west. So when did he land at all those places? Or is it just argument of where he landed? Correct. So they're saying that most historians are on the same page that he never landed in what is now the U.S. He, was, he never did it. Okay. But he technically landed in America. Correct. So Central Central America would be considered North America, but South America would not. But also Caribbean islands are technically North America, too. Right. But if all so, they say is America, 
than technically right. no matter where he landed. But so we, what is we the, have a the, Columbus the story? Day. Like, what did we learn? Where did he land? Let's see. The Pilgrims landed in Plymouth Rock, so that right. wasn't Columbus. People get that mixed up a lot. I feel like. But like um, when we're learning about him, like you're like, sitting in you know fourth fifth grade. You where did about, the Mayflower? No, no, no. Pull Mayflower up. was the Pilgrims. He was the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. That's right. Where did either of them land when we're being taught that? Right. I, I, I don't know. But hmm. we, we have a whole holiday for it. We have Columbus Day. Sounds like it, just another reason to drink. But he never landed here. Hmm. Wild, right? It is wild. He landed, oh, in the Bahamas, San Salvador. Hmm. Which is America? The Bahamas? Yeah. Uh, no, the Bahamas are not part. Are they a territory? I, I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. I don't think they are. Um, and then it says here, he never set foot in today's United States. <laughs> Isn't that wild? <laughs> That's great. Uh, I like like you so ask much. anyone who discovered the U.S., they'd go Christopher right. Columbus. Yeah. But really, right. it's he discovered the Americas. Right. Right. But hmm. more south and central and the Caribbean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's wild. Oh,